Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we're going to be watching an emergency backyard pole replacement, also called a trouble call in the industry. The work will be performed by Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now to start with, you're going to see a video of the tree that came down. You see it took out a fence. This was not weather related, simply tree rot. Took out this fence, took out a pole. You see the remaining uh, portion of the pole that is still standing. And it also took out some lines as you're seeing now. And as we pan down, you see it took out an old transformer and some switch gear that was formerly on that pole. Now the first thing we're going to see is a backyard machine bringing in a new pole. Notice how they use those mats to avoid damaging the lawn or the grass in the backyard. And next you'll see them use that same backyard machine. The new pole has been set down already. Now they're going to use that machine to pick up the old transformer from just beyond the fence line. You're going to see it come up here over the fence line in a moment. They'll swing it around and set it down next to the new transformer which is sitting on the backyard machine which is going to go up on the new pole. And now you'll see them use the same machine to pull the remnants of the old pole back over the fence. Notice he's also starting to dig the hole for the new pole by hand and I'll explain that in just a moment. Now we're going to see what's called framing a pole which includes drilling some holes, attaching some equipment brackets, which he's doing here, and you'll see this pole being turned by something called a cant hook. You're going to see a guy come in the background here and set the cant hook down in a second. And uh, they will continue installing. Here you see them adding a new cross arm to the pole. And here we go back to a shot of him digging the pole. I said manually because you notice there's a little green flag next to his leg that indicates that a sewer line is too close for them to use the auger on the backyard machine. Here they are adding some insulators continuing to frame the pole and now they're going to add a ground wire to the new pole. Now he'll add what's called clevis and rollers to the new pole. You'll see them in the next video. And next you're going to actually see them set the new pole in the ground using, again, that backyard machine. They set the pole in. Now they're going to mix up uh, what's called polecrete, pole concrete, to set this pole. You can see them go up and pour it around the base of the pole here. And this is actually time lapse. It's faster than it actually happens. But you can see here, this is the polecrete after the pole has fully set. And with that pole fully set, now the two linemen can climb the pole. We've got an apprentice on the bottom, a journeyman on top. They are using a series of ropes to use ground help to pull up the lines that they're going to restore to this pole. And now you see the apprentice with the new transformer, the white cylindrical device. He's going to be attaching that first to the pole, and then he's going to work with the leads forming them for the connection to the new wires that are feeding that pole. Now we're actually taking a different point of view. This is just down the line on the next pole over where we have another lineman who is securing the line to be fed to the new pole. Now we're back on our pole at the top. The lineman is using ground help to pull up a primary feed. And next you're going to see the apprentice on the bottom using ground help to pull up a secondary lead as well. And while this is all happening up on the pole, the remaining task on the ground is to pull the fill dirt out that they did not use since they foamed in this new pole. And with that, we hope you have enjoyed our emergency backyard pole replacement video, part one. Part two will show the lineman restoring connections on the line. This work was done by Kansas City Power and Light, and the video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.